Hi! In the last video, we talked about a number's factors and how they can help us figure out the different ways we can bag candies. As a reminder, our first task was to come up with the different options to bag our jawbreakers. There are 56 total, and each bag must get the same amount. We determined that the factors of 56, the total jawbreakers, were going to be the bag counts that would evenly divide the jawbreakers. So bag counts of 1, 2, 4, 7, etc. are all viable options for us. Now we could keep going and find all of the factors of 56 by hand with a calculator, and maybe you already have done something like this in class. In this project, however, we are going to take advantage of the power of programming to help us do it quickly and efficiently. We'll need to learn a few important skills first, but by the end we'll have an automated program that can calculate all of the factors for us. To create our program, we are going to use a programming language called Python. It's a very popular programming language right now, and it's used in everything from web and game development, scientific research, data analysis, artificial intelligence, among others. Popular companies like Netflix, Google, Instagram, Spotify, and even yours truly, CodeHS, uses Python as part of their platforms. Here is the CodeHS editor, which you'll be doing most of your work in for the rest of this project. On the left is where you type your programming, and the right is where you run the code and see the results. Your typing space may be white instead of black, which is okay. In Python, we can type calculations just like we do it on a calculator. So, for example, if I wanted to calculate 56 divided by 2, I'd write it as 56 divided by 2, where the forward slash symbol means division. In order to see the result of the calculation when we run the program, we use what's called a print statement. I type the word print, then follow it with parentheses. We put whatever we want to print inside of the parentheses. To run the code, I click the green Run Code button. When I do this here, I see the result of the calculation, which was printed by the print statement. I can do the same for the calculation 56 divided by 3. Run the code, and I'll see the result. In fact, I can have as many calculations and print statements as I like. Run code, and I see all three results at once. We can also print text, or what we call strings. In order to do this, you need to have the quotes surrounding the text you want. When I run this, I see the text appear. This will be an important part to making an easy-to-use program. Combining both ideas here, I can print a string and a number at the same time. When I click Run Now, you see both results. By including the text with the number, the output is easy to read and has meaning. Remember, we can print as many lines as we want, so let's add two more. First, let's print the string, candy per bag, then the calculation, 56, the number of jawbreakers, divided by 2, the number of bags. When I run this, you'll see all four lines. In general, we want to make our output as clear and easy to read as we can. If I do this now for two bagging options, four and five bags, the code and the output is hard to read. To make the code easier to read, we can add a blank space in the code to separate out the lines. Note this has no impact on the output, but it does help the code. To make the output easier to read, we are going to print a blank line between each bag option. To do this, I added the empty print statement to print a blank text line in the output. Okay, let's go to the live code editor and see this in action. Okay, so here's the CodeHS editor where you will be doing most of your work. Let's go ahead and type out our first basic calculation, 56 divided by 2, and run the code. And you'll see here the results printed out as expected. Now we can do any sort of calculation with our major arithmetic signs here. So let's go ahead and type out a few of these calculations. We'll do 56 plus 2, 56 minus 2, and 56 multiplied by 2. And when I run this, I'll be able to see all four lines at once. Switching over to our jawbreaker example now, Let's highlight these lines and just delete them. And then I'll type out the first print statement, which will be the number of bags used, followed by uh, the number of bags, which will be two. 
And then our second string, which will be the number of jawbreakers per bag, followed by the calculation, which is 56 divided by 2. And then I can run this, and I'll see all four of the lines print out at once. And you can see that the strings do a great job in organizing it, and everything is very clear.